One of the more exciting players entering this year's college football season is quarterback Trayvon Boykin out of TCU. And we're going to take a look back at his game to see what makes the 6'2", 205-pound senior one of the top passers in college football. First, I want to see how well Boykin can go through his progressions. And you see right here versus Oklahoma, what looks like pre-snap cover two. It looks like tight two man because you have one, two, three, four defenders up close on these wide receivers, two safeties back deep. So as a quarterback, you know where you can go with the football, what types of routes you can run. But what TCU is doing on this play, you have two uh, slants at the bottom of the screen, slant one and slant two with the jet sweep motion coming down the, uh, down the formation, and he's going to be the flat defend, the flat uh, player as well. So you're going to have two slants and a flat to the far side of the field. And what that does, it gives the quarterback three options. He's going to check slant one, slant two, then his outlet will be that flat pass. And you're going to see right here what happens when Oklahoma tries to play two-man underneath. And what happens, now you think it's two-man, but as you can see, as we snap the football, it goes to some sort of cover one man under. So you now, you now have the safety back deep. This defender that was following the jet sweep motion is now caught in a wash. So you don't want to go to this slant here. You can't go to this slant here. It's taken away. And now your only outlet is this receiver running in the flat, which is what Boykin does. And that's a great job right there by the quarterback. And this is what you want to see. Go through your options. Go through your progressions. And he does a great job here, as you can see from the end zone cam. You're going to see his face go one, check slant one, check slant two. Now go to the flat completion first down for TCU that's a great job by Boykin and so I think he does a great job in, in seeing the field and this is another play right here we're gonna freeze it you see what Oklahoma has right up at the top of the screen one two three four defenders covering three wide receivers so pre-snap this will tell you okay maybe I don't have the advantages up here I should go down to the bottom of the field where I have one-on-one -on -one and the safety is on the hash and they're gonna make this decision a lot easier for Boykin because Initially, you see this, safety is in good position. Now he floats to the middle of the field right there. So that confirms what you saw pre-snap. Now you can go to this receiver at the bottom of the screen and you can throw any type of route. He has any, uh, he has a free reign to go wherever he wants to go. And that's a great read by Boykin. Takes his time, he doesn't rush it, even though this is, this is where your eyes get big as a quarterback because you see one-on-one, -on -one, receiver works him over pretty good and a great placement on the ball, great, throw right there by Boykin as we have a, a penalty uh, which was a face mask but that's again great pre-snap read great throw great placement and once again convert to four first down this was a great play I know it's a small play I know it's a little the little things but those things in my opinion matter for a quarterback which is why you can tell Boykin is highly thought of going into the season now we know Boykin is an athlete and when you have an athlete at quarterback he's a former wide receiver you always want to open up the playbook and utilize his athleticism. And this right here is a great example of that, that option play. And the one thing I like about the option, it puts the end man on the line of scrimmage in the bind. You have to stay disciplined. You're going to see a great job Boy by Boykin attacking the end man on the line of scrimmage. What you normally see is guys stay parallel. They don't attack downhill. And that way the defender can play both the runner and the quarterback. But Boykin does a great job. Look right here, attacking downhill. Defender has to commit now. He's committing to Boykin, makes the pitch easier, walks in for the touchdown. So you always want to have these little wrinkles in your offense when you have a guy that has that athleticism. Now getting back to throwing the football, you're going to see three things on this play from Boykin. You're going to see his arm strength, you're going to see a quick release, and you're going to see the placement. Oklahoma defended this play very well, and it's you, but you can't defend the perfect pass. And what we're going to see is Boykin go right here in the slot on the quick slant. And this pass has to be perfect because, again, tight coverage by Oklahoma, who was actually in great position to break that pass up. But you can't defend the perfect pass. Great timing, throw, arm, and placement, and quick release by Boykin. You can see the live arm coming from the 6'2", 205-pound quarterback. And right there, boom. That's a good throw. Rewind that. Let's, let's look at that again. Look at the placement. That's just what the young kids say nowadays, a flick of the wrist. That's that right there. Boom, ball is out, placement is perfect, receiver had no choice but to catch that football. That's a great throw by Boykin, and again, it moves to chains. Now, going deep down the field is what separates the good quarterbacks from the great quarterbacks, and if you're consistently accurate down the field, it just expands the field, and it makes your offense tougher to defend. So you see right here, five wide receivers, 
No one in the backfield, so this is all on Boykin and that offensive line, which did a great job all game long protecting him. Now, he has to decide where he wants to go with the football, who has the better leverage. He's going to go up at the top of the screen where he feels as though the receiver has leverage on the corner because he has room down the sideline. This ball has to be accurate. And when you're a great passer, you make plays like this consistently. The receiver is going to do his job and beat the guy off the ball and get and give Boykin the go-ahead to throw the football deep down the field. Right there, that ball is out. Boykin does a great job in leading the receiver because the receiver is still tied up the corner. This ball is already out. This ball has to be somewhere around here. And this is great placement and this is great accuracy on a deep pass. And as we run it, you're going to see the receiver doesn't break stride and is able to make the play. That's a chunk play. That's what you want out of your offense. And Boykin, once again, recognizes that early and gets rid of the football here while facing pressure. Great throw. That's what you want to see. Takes the hit. Receiver is able to catch it in stride down the field. So, again, we've seen the deep accuracy. We've seen him throw short passes. Now you want to see how well he can do on timing routes and with the placement. So, once again, where is the leverage? Down at the bottom, you have one, two, three defenders, one, two wide receivers. This is probably where you do, don't want to go with the football. So, now you look back up top. You have one-on-one -on -one right here. Safety is tilted a little bit to the hash. We don't know what these backs are going to do right yet, just yet. So, let's just say... This is a great read already because, again, you want to go where you have the advantage. And now you further see back is going to come down. One, two, three receivers. You have one, two, three, and a half. I'm going to call this a half because he's tilted toward. He's trying to drift toward the middle of the field. This is where you want to go with the football. And that's exactly where Boykin goes with the football. Easy catch, easy run, easy throw, great route um, versus a soft zone coverage. And, and, again, Boykin does a great job delivering the football checking boom right out of his hands quickly look at look at the placement on the, on the pass where the receiver can catch it and keep running bang right there keeps going that's a good throw once again now as always you want to see the quarterback get better in certain areas and i do think boykin while he's a tremendous player he can run he can throw anywhere on the field i think he's inconsistent with his mechanics so when i'm talking about his mechanics his feet tend to not get set at times which affects his accuracy and accuracy for a quarterback is everything and it comes from your lower body you're going to see right here a throw that was inaccurate because his lower body wasn't set and it results into an incomplete pass and this is something you can't do you see right there he didn't get his feet set he just threw it all arm and you can't have that happen cornerback did a great job breaking on the ball because again if your feet are not set if you're not throwing with proper mechanics and technique this pass won't be as uh it won't have as much velocity as normally you would see. You see right there, feet not set, all arm, cornerback breaks on the ball. So another play you're going to see here, again, feet not set. Wide receiver has to play. It could be a big play for TCU, but again, the little things matter. That's why I harped on that earlier on in the video. You see right there, feet are not set, all arm throw, and overthrow is an open receiver. He could have put that ball in between that tight window of the three defenders but once again feet not set all arm accuracy is 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 compromised that ball right there that's a big hole for the quarterback that's open at the next level so you want to see him complete that pass but he can complete this pass if he was thrown with proper mechanics the ball sails could have been intercepted but it falls incomplete so Spinning it back to the positive side, I think that's where Boykin has to improve his game, become consistent with his mechanics, and we go back to something that I like about this game. He sees the field. No safety in the middle of the field, so this tells Boykin any in-breaking route he has called on his play is going to work. He just has to be patient and has to stay committed to the play, step in the pocket, and make a throw. And he does exactly that, and it results into a touchdown uh, for the Horn Frogs. So again, Boykin does a lot of great things. Uh, from the quarterback position we, we talked about his athleticism we talked about how well he can move you see right here patience in the pocket in breaking route on the post receiver has all of this to work with boykin has all of this to work with and this is a this could be a play where a quarterback can can uh have problems because it's so wide open he can overthrow this football he can throw it short he can make any type of bad throw and this play won't be successful but boykin stays patient and places it perfectly to where the receiver doesn't break stride, and it's a touchdown again. So Boykin does a lot of great things well. I think he definitely has a bright future 
uh, at the next level. So we want to see this progression from him as far as his footwork and his mechanics are concerned. But overall, he has a lot of great traits that you want at the quarterback position.